anything else you'd like me to do next week? Well, I've got a couple of things uh, that I also asked Joan, which is when you're browsing the web, what are the things that irritate you the most <laughs> in terms of preventing you from accessing things? What is it that you come across oh. that you think, oh, bugger? Um, for me, as a as a kind of visual person, um, I would say very busy sites. Right. Um, so if you've got quite a lot of adverts around the site, and and you, uh, or if you've got a lot of animation on your site, that is very distracting um, from you trying to read or trying to find where the menus are or trying to get where you're trying to, to be. Um, then it, it can be really, really distracting. If you've got a really busy site, um, then it can be. Yeah, it's, I wouldn't really want to go back to that. Right. Page. Okay. If you've got quite a lot of maybe images with text on it, then again, I'm not going to see that unless it's a really good like um, contrast. Right. So if you've got images, it's best to have an image and an image, and then the text underneath that. Right. So don't it. embed the text on the image. Yes. Uh huh. Um, other things uh, I would say is if you if you, the videos play automatically. That's a big thing for me is because you, I'm zooming around with my high, with my magnifier on trying to find out where the video is to, to, to pause it and um, I can't I can't find it because it may be right. like quite far down the, down the page. So a lot of, if it's, if it's a busy website, if it's, um, co- the contrast is not very good to see um, and uh, if there's like um, any kind of videos that like automatically right. play. And that would be the same with audio, I suppose, if you come on and the audio started up right away. Yeah. You've got to try and yeah, figure out how to get rid of it. Yeah, you're trying to actually see the see the page. And you don't, if you hear loads of information, you're just like, oh, what is, what is that? Like, generally, it's an advert as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, and one other thing would be is, is it's good to have a good, a good layout, like a simple layout to your page. So when you come onto your page, you know roughly – where the information is going to be, your, your your kind of main navigation area would normally be either at the top of the page or at the bot at the left hand side of the screen, so you know yeah. where to look. But if you have a page that ha- maybe has it in the middle of the screen randomly, or has like someone's went way left field and done something really out there, then it kind of puts you off because you're like, oh, where is things that you expect to be in yeah. a particular area? And also some kind of consistency across the site in terms of layout, I would imagine. You know, you don't want to have yes. to, uh-huh. you know, if you've discovered that yeah. and figured out where the navigation is, you don't want it to be on some on different <laughs> on some other page. You've got to find yeah. That so, yeah, so for example, and, and here, you know, uh, for BBC News, you know that if you if you move into certain areas of the page, the navigation is going to stay the same no matter yeah. where I move into that page. I know that if I zoom, if I'm moving about, the, the, na- the navigation is going to stay there and it's not going to change too much. But if okay. you have to change too much, then it's, it's very disconnected. Yeah, it's not great. 